we started off this morning for our first assessment of Hurricane Ian. We went to hard-hit areas of Naples and Fort Myers, Florida. The first elderly couple that God led us to were dealing with a completely submerged vehicle which had floated into the middle of the street. The smell of contaminated water permeated as we tried to limit our contact with the wet and saturated seats and interior of the vehicle. Our efforts to relocate the vehicle were not successful, but God's anointing had other plans. As we laid hands on the couple in prayer, the Holy Spirit moved on to us. The woman began to weep and she testified to us about her 43-year-old son who had just died from an overdose of drugs laced with fentanyl. As I prayed over her and asked God for healing and peace, I felt the supernatural healing come about her. We all did. Her husband raised his hands in the air to God. And as we departed, we all felt his presence. The purpose of our mission this morning was not clear. We had no idea where we were going or who we would find. We watched the devastation of our neighbors. We wanted to go do something about it. But as we left today and as we sit home tonight, we thank God for showing us his power and his mercy. Affirmation that we live by faith and not by sight.